watching your local news leader. This is WCIA 3 News at 10. Right now, there's so many trees down, and you know, you really don't know where to start. Leaders of a Vermilion County summer camp hope they'll be back up and running soon. Today's storm caused enough damage that all campers were sent home. Thanks for being here. For your local news at 10, I'm Marley Capper. The Boy Scouts at Camp Drake sheltered in place for over half an hour while strong winds caused a chaotic scene around them. WCI 3 Scarlett O'Hara joins us now. Scarlett, tell us what happened. I spoke with the CEO of Prairie Lands, Prairie Lands Council, who said when staff members were alerted of a storm on its way, they made sure all campers were accounted for. They had just built a brand new shower house meant to double as a storm shelter, which was set to open tomorrow. But they headed there early because of today's emergency. It's about being prepared. That's what it is in scouting. It's the motto. They may not have expected summer camp to be cut short this year, but Jared White says his Boy Scouts were prepared for the storm coming their way. We had uh, a wall cloud of dust that came over that was coming at 80 to 100 miles an hour as fast as it possibly could. Camp Drake leaders needed to act fast. About five to ten minutes in the dining hall, we were starting to evacuate and get to the shower house because things were starting to look really ominous, and we had the, our phones went off, so we knew that was the time to go. About 200 scouts and staff members sheltered in place in a brand new shower house built for this type of emergency. We had the new shower house, which served as that storm shelter, and basically, I'll tell you what, with that, we may not be talking the same thing. While it was hot and cramped with the power off, White says the building kept everybody safe, even as a large branch fell onto the roof. As it was storming coming down, we were singing, right? So our scouts were singing in the shower house, which made those scouts feel comfortable because it's the songs they know that we sing in the dining hall. So it made them happy, and, and it kept them upbeat. And they're all grateful the shelter was built just before they needed it. White says the previous plan was to get in a ravine on the other side of camp. Because you're above the flood and it keeps everything else. It just wasn't okay with me. This is what's okay with me to make sure we have a building that's safe. Now, he says it's time to assess the damage around the rest of camp and hope they can resume singing and scouting again soon. White says two staff members were hit with tree branches during the storm, but that they're okay and went to the hospital as a precautionary measure. He also says campers' families can stay updated on the Prairie Lands website and social media pages. Back to you. All right, Scarlett, thank you.